I've just sent the better of my hot plates to Japan. None of this stuff is quite straight. This is my apparatus for, uh, which we're going to use to light a match with water. It sounds an improbable thing to do, but um, that's what's going to happen hopefully. I've never actually done this before, so maybe it won't happen, but um, we'll see. So we're going to boil water in here over a Bunsen. The, um, the steam is going to boil off, flow through these tubes, into the coil and out here, and while it's flowing around the coil, we're going to uh, try and superheat it with a blowtorch. Um, so when it comes out, it's uh, it's a few hundred degrees centigrade, and hopefully that will be enough to light a match. Of course, it would have been helpful if I'd filled that from the hot tap. Classic schoolboy error. Okay. That will take a couple of minutes to come to the boil, I think. You can't normally light a match with water or even steam because it's just not hot enough. The normal steam that you get off boiling water will condense pretty much immediately on, it, on anything because it's only just above its boiling point. And so as soon as it hits anything cooler, it will just condense getting hotter quickly actually. We want to really heat the steam up to a few hundred degrees, at which point hopefully we'll exceed the auto ignition temperature of the head of the match. So the head will have a, will have a temperature at which if you raise it to that temperature it will just spontaneously ignite and that's what we're trying to do, it's just is to heat this water hot enough that that will happen. Okay, so the thermometer's reading quite a lot less than 100 degrees, but that's probably not really a surprise. We've got this huge coil, which at the moment acting like a condenser, so we've, we're probably not actually getting water above 100 degrees out of the end, which is where the blowtorch comes in. So you saw just now that before I started using the blowtorch that there was a lot of uh, condensed water dripping out the end of the pipe. The plume of droplets, the plume of water mist that you saw coming out as the water condensed is now pretty much disappeared completely um, because it's now too hot and it's not condensing when it comes out of the end of the pipe. Um, it's a bit of a problem juggling all these extremely hot objects but I'm, I'll probably just take the blowtorch away while I do this. Um, oh, not bad. I've, I've never seen a match do that before. It sort of smouldered without igniting. I didn't, didn't know that was possible. But there you go. I wasn't convinced that there was enough heating going on there so I've got a uh, I've got another Bunsen out. We'll see how we get on with that. So I've set the water boiling off again. Um, let's light this other Bunsen. Now we've got our copper coal actually glowing red hot, so I'm pretty I think this is going to this is going to do the job now. I don't think it's that easy to melt copper unless you. I think it will radiate a lot of heat before it gets to that point. Okay, so let's give the thermometer a go. See if we're see how hot we might be. It's really racing up. see. Well, I learned something new today. I learned that my thermometer only goes up to 200 degrees, so we've maxed it out. Oh, there we go. That's a really interesting obs observation, actually, I, and I think the problem we had before was not so much that it wasn't hot enough, but that I was just holding the match too directly in the, uh, in the stream of steam and not pulling it out as it started to smoulder and, that, and obviously there's no, there's no oxygen in, this, in, in what's coming out of here. This is a pure 
gaseous water. So there's no oxygen there, so the match wasn't actually able to ignite. And I think that was probably the problem. Um, and now, we've in, a, a, we've increased the heat, but B, if I just stick it into the stream and then withdraw it to, to allow the air to get to it, at that point, it, the match ignites.